This week's top stories include Chinese forced prison labor poses risk to garment supply chains, Johnson & Johnson concealed a dangerous quality control problem with talc products, and Chinese government drops Made in China 2025 for trade truce. Remember to click the link below for the full stories. First up, Chinese forced prison labor poses risk to garment supply chains. New evidence suggests Uyghur detainees in China are being forced to take jobs in factories. Satellite images, leaked official documents, and accounts show factories built in or near internment camps. And Chinese propaganda shows detainees working in factories. U.S. brand Badger Sportswear came under fire for potentially sourcing from the camps. Retailers should remain cautious when manufacturing in the Xinjiang region. Next up, Johnson & Johnson concealed a dangerous quality control problem with Talc products. Corporate documents reveal the company may have knowingly used asbestos contaminated talc in its baby powder. The FDA doesn't regulate asbestos in talc, but early this year it will begin exploring a standard for evaluating potential talc risks amid growing consumer concern. Last up, Chinese government drops Made in China 2025 for trade truce. The Chinese government's latest directive doesn't require local governments to make progress on the strategy. Previous guidelines included financial support and recognition for supporting the initiative. U.S. officials strongly opposed the scheme, and Beijing easing back on the initiative could signify a positive progression in ongoing trade talks. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and tune in next week on Best in Manufacturing.